Oh! 
hadith tells us that you are to come for the ziyara of Hussein. Tired, grief stricken, heart broken, disheveled, full of dust, hungry and thirsty because Hussein was tired, grief stricken, heartbroken, full of dust, disheveled and hungry and thirsty on the day of Ashura. Come to Hussein alayhi salatu salam. When you come to the Imam, the world should have no meaning for you. Be with Hussein. When our Imam was born into this world, you would imagine that this would bring happiness to Ahlul Bayt. And Lady Fatima is happy, holding her child in her arms. She gives this child to Rasulullah. And Rasulullah is also happy. He cannot contain his joy. He names his child Hussein. This is my Hussein. Al Hussein min me, wa ana min al Hussein. He belongs to me and I belong to him. But then Lady Fatima is looking at the face of her father. And suddenly, the smile leaves his face. He closes his eyes as if he is in great pain, as if he is carrying a great burden. Lady Fatima looks concerned at the face of her father. And then when he opens his eyes, she sees that his eyes are filled with tears. My father, what has happened? Is this not a day of happiness? Lady Fatima does not yet know that every happiness that Hussein will experience will be mixed with sadness and grief. Rasulullah says, my child, Fatima, Jibra'il just came to me. And Jibra'il, he asks me, Ya Rasulullah, do you love this son of yours? <coughs> I love him more than anything. And do you give me permission to tell you how your Ummah will kill this son of yours? Jibra'il is given permission to recite the first majlis in the Ahl al-Kisa of the Azadar. Lady Fatima, look carefully and see that she is seeing and hearing the angel of God describe the murder of her son. She hears how the Imam will carry his dead children in his arms. How Imam Hussein will roll in his blood. And how Imam Hussein will have his head severed on the day of Ashura. The lady Fatima says, My father, if this has to happen, will you be there for our Hussein? No, I will not be there. What about Ali? Will Ali be there? Ali will not be there. What about Hassan? Will he be there for his brother? No. Hassan will not be there for Hussein. And my father, what about me? Will I be there for my Hussein? Rasulullah says, Hussein will be gharib on the day of Ashura. And if none of us will be there, will there at least be those who cry for my Hussein? Rasulullah says, do not worry my daughter, for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will raise a nation of those who cry for Hussein. They will cry for the men and the women and the children of Hussein. So we come to Hussein. We are with Hussein. We cry for Hussein. 
من بكى أو تباكى فله الجنة. For those who cry for Hussein, they receive salvation. Those who even pretend to cry for Hussein, they are granted the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why? Why should we be surprised by this? This is the Quranic principle that you will be with those whom you love. Yawm al Qiyamah. If you loved Fir'aun or Yazid or Umar ibn Sa'ad or Shimon ibn al Jushan, you will be with them. You belong to them. And so today we are with Hussein alayhi salatu salam. On the day of Ashura, Imam Hussein was not yet Ghari. So long as he had his companions with him. But now you see they are going to the Maidan. And one by one, slowly, Imam Hussein is more and more Ghari. But he is not truly Ghari. He sends Ali Akbar and he goes to the battlefield and they cut his body to pieces <laughs> and the light leaves the eyes of Hussein alayhi salatu salam but Hussein is not yet gharib Asim goes to the battlefield and they trample his body while he is alive but Hussein is not gharib and then Abbas goes he now lies at the Furat. His arms are cut from his body, and the spine and the back of Hussein has now been shattered. And Hussein is not yet gharib in Karbala. But then his baby was thirsty, and he went to go get some water for the child. And then the arrow struck his neck, and the little baby lifted his arms out of the swaddle cloth and flapped them like a bird. Now Hussein is gharib in Karbala. There is no one left for Hussein. So he calls out, Hal min Nasir in your sunnah? Hal min Mu'in in your ayluna? Hal min Zab in your dhubbu in harim in Rasulullah? Is there anyone to help us? Is there anyone to answer our call for aid? Is there anyone who will defend the family, the women, and the children of Rasulullah? Imam Hussein doesn't hear anyone respond. But there are 4,000 angels, Shaykh Saduq narrates, that turn to God. And they say, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, give us permission and we will go save the life of Hussein. But they do not understand. Allah wants his servant back. You are coming to me, O oh Hussein. So there will be no one for Hussein on the day of Ashura. But there is one who answered the call. Imam Sajjad is laying in his bed and now he is trying to sit and stand. He asks Zainab, where is my sword? I will go and defend my father. It is said that when Imam Sajjad saw a man enter into his tent, he had blood on his face, his beard was bloody, his clothes were full of dust. It took me, Imam, some time to realize this was my father. My father, I don't recognize you. Why is your back so bent? Why is your beard gray? Why is the light going from your eyes? Imam says, My son, I have carried so many of my children. I do not have life left in me. How could this happen? Imam Sajjad says, Where is Abbas? How can Imam Hussein explain? Abbas is gone. Everyone is gone. <laughs> My son Ali, you do not have permission to go to the battlefield. You are the Imam after me. 
you will carry on the imamah after I'm gone. But if you wish for martyrdom, do not worry, you will receive it. But not before great musibah, not before tragedy. You will see your father's head on a spear. You will see the daughters of Rasulullah paraded through the streets. You will have to carry my four-year-old daughter and bury her in the bed of Sham. Gharib Hussain is Gharib Karbala. The Imam now goes to perform the ghurkhsat of the women and the children of Rasulullah. He goes to the tents. He bids farewell. Alaykunna minni as salam, O family of the Prophet. He is ready to go to the battlefield, but they are not ready to leave him. They grab his feet, they hold his clothes. They say, Oh Hussein, there is no meaning to this world after you. It is said that there was women on the night of Ashura who went to their husbands and said, We do not wish you to go to the battlefield. But that was until they heard the call of Hussein. And they said, You will go and die on the battlefield. But Hussein will not die on the battlefield. There was a woman by the name of Um Wahab. She had a son that she sent to the battlefield. When the son of Um Wahab came back to her, the enemy threw his head into the tents of the women. She grabbed the, the head of her son. She said, My beloved son, congratulations to you. She kissed the sun upon his head and she threw the head back and she said, We do not kill. They will not take back what we have given to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Hussein is Khabib on the day of Ashura. He goes to Zainab. We do not know how they separated from each other. But we know that when Lady Zainab came to Hussein, she kissed the neck of her brother. Hussein says, what are you doing, my sister? What is this? Zainab says, this was the last Hussiyah of my mother, Lady Fatima. Does Zainab know what will happen to the neck of Hussein? Is she aware of what will take place? In just a few moments, Imam Hussein now kisses the wrists of his sister. Oh, Hussein, what is this? This was the final Hussiyah of my father, Amir al does Hussein know what will happen to these wrists? How the ropes will cut into her flesh? How the chains will burn her skin? Thus we will recite the Musiba of Zainab some other time. But now Hussein is ready to become a martyr. He mounts upon Zuljana. And he tells his steed, go forth, Taqaddam Ya Zuljana. Take me to the Maymal. I wish to go to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But Zuljana doesn't move. Zuljana doesn't go anywhere. My steed, my horse would have carried me as a great burden. But this is the last favor I ask if you take me to the Maidan. I will not trouble you any further. Brothers and sisters, do not be surprised if Zuljana begins crying and lowers his head in respect for his imam, but also in respect for a four-year-old daughter that is grabbing the legs of the horse of Hussein. The Imam now dismounts. He says, Sakina, will you not allow your father to go and defend you a final time? Lady Sakina says, Al ista santa My mom, are you going to die now? <laughs> what choice do I have, O oh, Sakina? But do not worry, I'm going to your great-grandfather now. I'm going to your grandfather and I will be with him. <laughs> Lady Sakina says, if you are going to go to my great-grandfather, before you go, will you take me back to Medina? <laughs> How will Hussein tell this daughter of hers that she will never go back to Medina? That she will die in the dungeons of Sham? <laughs> Sakina, Bids farewell to her father. The amana of Imam Hussein is now in the hands of Zainab as he rides out to the to the Maidan. The enemy narrates that we saw Hussein come to us and we could not understand how someone who was so alone, someone who was so gharib, someone who was so wahid, someone who had lost everything in this world, 
Yet he came to us with valor and zeal and honor. He speaks to the enemy. He says, oh soldiers of Yazid, look at yourselves and then look at me. And ask yourself, is it possible for you to shed my blood? Am I not the son of your Rasul? Am I not the son of the daughter of your Rasul? Which Quranic verse have I neglected? Which Hukum of Allah have I broken? It allows you to come and to shed my blood here on the day of Ashura. That you will come and you will set fire to the tents of my women. If you have no dignity and honor, if you have no religion in this world, at least be men who are free. Do the right thing, O soldiers of Yazid. What is the response of Umar ibn Sa'd? He takes an arrow to his bow and he throws it at Imam Hussein alayhi salatu salam. He says, bear witness in front of Ibn Ziyad and Yazid. That it was Umar ibn Sa'd who was the one who began this battle. Brothers and sisters, Imam Hussein fought on the day of Ashura as if Ali had returned to the battlefield. He fights like he did at Khandaq, at Khaybar, at Uhud, at Badr. The flash from Zulfiqar was like lightning. Whenever he would strike the enemy, you would hear thunder on the plains of Karbala. Umar ibn Asad calls out, Do you not know that this is the son of Ali ibn Abi Talib? Surround him on all sides. Now, they are all surrounding Hussein alayhi salatu was salam. Imam Bakir narrates, brothers and sisters, that were, there was not a weapon that was used on the day of Ashura that was not used against my great grandfather. <laughs> Those with swords, they cut at the flesh of Hussein. Those with spears, they threw spears at Hussein. Those with arrows, they flew arrows at Hussein. Those that did not even have anything in their hands, they threw rocks at Hussein. This was the rain on the day of Ashura, falling on the son of Zahra. Brothers and sisters, when my own, he throws a large rock. It lands on the forehead of Abba Abdullah. Now see that Imam Hussein stopped in the middle of the battle. He does not have any strength. He takes his shirt and he wipes the blood pouring from his forehead. But look and see, Harmada takes that three pronged arrow. He takes it to his bow and he lets it fly. Brothers and sisters, the heart is where the throne of God sits. This is where the throne of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is. Brothers and sisters, when Harmada threw that arrow, it did not land in an organ of Hussein. It struck the throne of God. Look and see how the arrow is now pierced through the chest of Hussein. Hussein falls towards the dust of Karbala. But the reminders of Azali tell us that he did not reach the dust. Why? Because the Kana Jisfu the Imam is now lying on a bed of arrows. His body had so many arrows that now look when he turns. The arrows move from one side to the other. The Imam now goes into sujood. Now turns to blood and now comes. 
يا اشقال اولين والاخرين شملنا رمز اني كنت ما مزينه فوق الزباله He sat on the chest of the Imam. <laughs> Zainab says, Oh Shimmer, what are you doing? Is there no Muslim among you? <laughs> Shimmer, he takes the hair of the Imam. This was the hair where Rasulullah used to caress. This was the head of the one Rasulullah used to kiss him upon his forehead. He takes a dagger in his right hand. It was a blood dagger. Ghanib Hussein, it is said that when Imam Hussein was lying there, he says, Abbas, where are you? He takes it to the neck of Hussein. Zainab says, My son Ali, come and see what is happening to your father. The Imam comes out from the tent and look and see what he sees. The head of his father is on a spear. I told you that Hussein be Karbala.